Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu Server 24.04.2 LTH version on VirtualBox. First, go to Ubuntu official website and download. So, go to ubuntu.com. Then, click on download Ubuntu. See here we have the desktop and server. In this video we are going to install Ubuntu Server. So, click on server. Then, click on get Ubuntu Server. See here the version Ubuntu 24.04.2 and its size is 3 gigabytes. If you click on this download, it will download the IS, direct ISO file. But if you want to download by using torrent, you have to click on alternative downloads. First see this one. See here we have the BitTorrent link files. See, this is the torrent link that we have to download. If you click on it, see torrent file downloaded. See here, this is the file name. See, I have already downloaded that. So, go back. You go back for direct is click on download wait a moment it will be downloaded see download started see here the size is 3 gigabytes i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded by using this torrent file okay in your case wait until download completes once download completed then open virtual box if you want to install virtual box on your machine then there is a link in the video description you can go through it and you can install virtual box on windows or linux operating systems start Click on new or machine on new. Either is fine. Okay. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. UB24042 VM. Okay. U the name. Here S means server. Okay. Name can be anything. This is the virtual machine name. Then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders. See, this is the default location. If you want some other location, click on drop down and select other. Then select the location where you have the NOS space. Select the folder. See, once you set, then we have to select the ISO image. That is downloaded ISO image. Click on drop down, select other. Then select the downloaded. Ubuntu 24.04.2 server ISO. Select it and click on open. Then once you selected, see type change it to Linux, subtype to Ubuntu and version as 64 bit. Then select this skip unattended installation. Okay. Why? Because if you don't select this one, it automatically installs. So we have to select that one. Then come to hardware. By default memory selected 2 gigabytes. So I am giving 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU cores to then hard disk by default it is selected 25 gigabytes i am giving 100 it is up to you based on availability you have to select this hardware and hard disk then click on finish still if you want to edit settings of this virtual machine select the virtual machine from this list then click on settings or right click and settings or select it on machine and settings all three options are same if you are okay with all the settings, then click on start. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is try or install Ubuntu server and hit enter. See if cursor is grayed out, you have to press right control key on your keyboard to release the cursor. See here, use up, down and enter keys to select your language. So, use up and down arrows, select language and hit enter. Keyboard, layout languages, I am going with English US only. I am not going to change. But if you want to change, you have to use the up and down arrows. Use the tabs. Then use the tab and come down to done and hit enter. See here, choose the base for the installation. Ubuntu server or Ubuntu server minimized or minimized. Okay. So, I am going with Ubuntu server, but if you want Ubuntu server, minimize it one, use the tab and come down, select this Ubuntu server, minimize it by using spacebar. I don't want, so go up and use the spacebar, it's selected. Okay. If you want to select additional options like third party drivers, you have to select this one. I don't want at this moment, so it is up to you, select it and select the done. 
it enter see this is the ip this is see this is the network information so select done and hit enter i don't have any proxy if you want to configure proxy configuration or to provide the proxy address i don't have anything so select done and hit enter wait a moment it is checking for the mirror config select done and hit enter continue guided storage configuration use select use entire disk or if you want custom storage layout you have to select this one if you want to go with entire disk then select done and hit enter see this is a storage configuration if you want to undo or do modify changes you have to select reset i am okay with the default so select done and hit enter just this is confirmation select continue and hit enter now we have to create our setup user and giving username as a r2 schools see this is the user full name then provide the server name or computer name ups2402 vm then here we have to provide the user name then set the password for this user then use the tab and select done and hit enter if you want to upgrade to ubuntu pro you have to select enable ubuntu pro otherwise select the default one that is skip for now and select the continue and hit enter if you want to install open ssh server you have to select check box by using space bar then select done and hit enter continue see these are the featured server snaps if you want to install any one of them like see here at cd postgres equal or prometheus like we have these options if you want to select like powershell select select it by using space bar at this moment i don't want any one see docker also available so i don't want anything so don't select any one and select done and hit enter see installation has been started this may take time i'm going to pause this video at the end it will ask us to reboot the system then we will restart and perform the post installation steps See installation is completed. Now use the tab and come down to reboot now and hit enter. See now it is rebooting. See the message. Please remove the installation medium. Then press enter. So press right control key on your keyboard to release the cursor. Then go to here. See it is already. See in the storage section IDE secondary optical drive is already empty. If it is not empty, right click and select remove the disk from virtual drive. Okay. So no need to do anything because it is empty. So go to here and hit enter. Now provide the username that we have created. Okay. Hit enter. Then provide the password of this user. Hit enter. Notice here on the screen it displayed some information. See IP of the machine, version number. Okay. See we have installed Ubuntu 24.04. Let us verify. Control L. More slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Ubuntu Server 24.04.2 and its code name is Noble. The first step after connecting to Ubuntu Server is we have to update and upgrade the packages. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. Hit enter. Type buffer confirmation and hit enter. Everything is done. Control it. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Ubuntu Server 24.04.2 LDS version on virtual box. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.